everyone, this is day 8 of the 25 days challenge and we are going to have a quick test on fractions. Let's, Let's begin, begin the, the test. test. Here is the first question, and I'm going to explain this question. So, in a bag of balls, there are 13 red balls, 10 yellow balls, and 5 blue balls, and 6 green balls. What fraction of the balls are not red? So what we have to do is first find the denominator, the total amount of balls, which in this case is 34. So we now know our denominator is 34. Now we just need to find a numerator. A numerator is a fraction of the balls that are not red. So we have our total, which is 34, and we just need to minus, which is the balls which are red, which will equal out not red. So, which in this case is 13 red balls. So we have 21 balls, which are not red. So 21, over 34 is our answer. So this is the numerator and this is the denominator. So that's the answer. So let's go on to our next slide. This is question number two. So the question is in a showroom, there are 60 cars, 24 of the cars are red cars. What fraction are not cars. So let's underline the important stuff. So it's not red cars. There are 60 cars and 24 of the cars are red cars. So let's first find the denominator. So we have to find the total, which we already have here is 60 cars. So we already know that 60 is the denominator. Now, we have to find out what are not red cars. So if, if we know that 24 of the cars are red cars, what we need to do is get the total and take away the red cars, which is 24, leaving us with the not red cars, which in this case, the answer is 36. So 
it's 36 over 60. So 36 is the numerator, 60 is the denominator, 60 is the total, while 36 is how much of the over the total is that. So that's the answer for not question number two. So let's go on to our next slide. This is question three. So the question is in a box, there are 12 apples, nine pears, four or and four oranges. What fraction of the fruits are pears? So let's find the total, uh, the denominator. So 12 plus 9 plus 4 equals 25. So that's the total amount of fruits there are. So that's the denominator. Now let's find the numerator. What fraction of the fruits are pairs? So we know that nine pairs are there. So there are nine pairs which begin which becomes our numerator. So it's nine over twenty-five. And that's the answer. Okay, so let's go on to our next question. This is question four. And the question is, in, this in the class, 12 out of 30 children are watching TV. Are there children playing outside? What fraction are, of the children are playing outside? So, we know that 12 out of 30 people, or students, sorry, are watching TV. So, we know that 12 is watching TV. So, and 30 is the total, which is here. So, we know that 12 children are occupied. So, uh, watching TV. The other children are playing outside. So, what we have to do is do 30 minus 12 equaling 18. So 12 are watching TV and this is the total amount of children. So if 12 are watching TV, is then we are left with 18 children. So since and the 18 ch children are playing outside. So they're playing outside. So we know that 18 over 30 children are playing outside. So you can simplify this further if you can. And it becomes 9 over 15. And you can simplify it further again. Which will eventually will become 3 over 5. But this method is crossed out. Some people do this mistake because we can't simplify uh, simplify people. Uh, this is a common mistake people do. So just pointing this out, this method of simplifying children does not work properly because um, the amount of children are going to stay the same since there are only about uh, are 30 children in the class and only 18 children are, are playing outside so that so 18 over 30 is the answer this is question five and the question is in the exam Alex got 15 questions wrong and there were 52 questions in total. What fraction of the questions did you get right? So we can tell that there were 52 questions in total. So we already know that that's our denominator. So that's how many there were in total. And Alex got 
15 questions wrong. So the total minus the questions wrong will equal to 37, which are correct. So this is the formula to use when you tr uh, want to find out how many are left. So the total, take away the uh, questions that are wrong, will equal the correct ones. So Alex got in total 37 over 52 questions right. So that's your answer. And that's how you work it out. So remember, this is the numerator. This is the denominator. So since this is total and this is correct, it says how many questions he got correct over the total. So that's how you work it out. So let's go on. So that's the end of my video. Thank you for watching and please like, share and subscribe.